Hello guys, Adamantium here, bringing you episode 3 of our new Sons of Abraham Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play as um, Count Vickman of Gelde. Uh, in the last episode, we have just been kind of consolidating our, our kind of realm and building up our money. Uh, we also killed our brother, um, who was the Count of Kelv, which is here, uh, but it's now passed to his son who we are currently trying to kill. We have 122% plot power, which is good. Um, no one else will join the plots at the minute though, but hopefully because we have the two backers, we should be able to um, to get the plot trigger and hopefully kill the Lord. Um, and if I kill the Lord, I'm currently his heir, so I will gain the second county. Uh, we've also got a claim on the Count of Holland. Um, we have a cast spell eye, which are Chancellor fabricated, um, but at the minute I don't have enough money, and I want to try and kill off my um, my nephew. Just give me one sec. Yeah, so that's the plan. So hopefully today we can, uh, in this episode, kill him, gain the territory, and then go to war with this guy uh, because he only has one ally, uh, another count. Um, he's got a lot more money than I have. And uh, I couldn't find out how much money, how much army he had. That's his friend. There's me. Uh, what's his name again? Rarebound of Holland. So yeah, and for some reason I can't. Yeah, so he's here. Look, if you look at him. Uh, for some reason I can't scroll over there. So yeah, so I believe we have more troops than him, but only just. So um, yeah, so we'll just get the ball rolling. Uh, just put up the speed a little bit, and just see what happens. Uh, I've actually been watching um, Paradox doing some live streaming today on Twitch TV. They've been live streaming some of the new features of uh, the Sons of Abraham, and uh, yeah, it looks really cool at the minute. Okay, we've been gone back to our little hood. Currently our liege is winning these wars down here. It looks like we're getting attacked by Vikings up here. Uh, yeah, in their game basically um, the the ruler of the Abbasids um, became Jewish, so it became like a Jewish em well, not a Jewish empire, but uh, the leader was Jewish and there's a few small pockets of Jews popping up over in the Middle East and Africa North Africa, which is pretty cool, and I totally missed what that uh, thing he said, I think he basically just said about uh, being friendly with the Pope, I think. Okay, okay, so we're getting some more tech, that's good. Uh, what is our Chancellor on? Ah, good, he's on collecting taxes, so we've got a better one. No, we do not. Stewards. No, I mean, I keep getting them mixed up, Steward and Chancellor. What about our Cot Chaplain? No, we don't have a better one either. Um... So yeah, let's have a look at our family. So our daughter's eight, our heir and son is seven, and our second son is two. Okay, and can we bring anyone else into the plot? Nope. Um, yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm playing on ha uh, Iron Man mode. That's why um, you might see the little hourglass pop up. It's because it randomly saves it. Um, okay. So another daughter, uh, Kremhild, we shall still call her Kremhild because I can't think of a good girl's name at the minute. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what to do, I don't know if I should go to war with this guy. Because uh, he does have a lot more money so he can afford uh, mercenaries, I think the cheapest one is 75 yeah, and that's 1,500 men, and because our troops aren't very good because we don't have any vassals, and we can't really afford to expand um, any of our barracks at the minute. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying in a, a couple of episodes ago, see, uh, Paradox have made it harder for you to gain money. Um, which it was going to be hard for me anyway because I'm just a single um, county count. So obviously I don't have much land and I don't have many vassals. 
Okay, so good news, my co-conspirators. Giles has let me know that Count Adam of Clave will soon fall, have a tragic fall. Okay, so hopefully that works. Um, my daughter. Okay, well, I want to see. This. So he's rubbed out that. That's fine. Uh, my daughter, Edlias, practically lives in the kitchen, a little glutton. Ha! Eat and be merry. He's glutton, minus stewardship, Berkshire. Uh, it's temperate though. Stewardship. We'll go for that. Okay, hopefully this plot works. Yes, brilliant news. Okay. Okay, so success. Seems little Count Adam of Clove had not yet learned how to fly. He died a quick and presumably painless death. Chicken for lunch today, I think. Brilliant. Okay, so this uh, is telling me who my title is lost on succession. Uh, we'll go to my second son, Kevin. Um, because our laws are agnatic, cognatic, gavel kind, and um, we want to try and get into primogenitor. But I don't think that's going to happen because uh, the crown law in Lothrangia isn't high, so we might get rid of that. So this means, is it Tyrone? Oh, yeah, we'll get a lot of money as well. Okay, so uh, we're about par on par with him. And how many allies do we have? We have two allies. Both of them like us. Um, one's a duke as well, so they might come to war with us, or they may not. Uh, our military, well, we've got a lot of military too. Um, do you know what? I am going to go for it. I'm going to declare war on this guy. Hopefully, we can win. Uh, up our military, get him into the together. Just turn the speed down a little bit. So he's called that other guy in. Luckily, I think he's fight. He might be fighting. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Vikings. Okay, we need to have a good steward. Uh, a good, we've got a really good marshal there. Uh, so hopefully, we can get in here and beat this army before this army can do anything. Okay, so there's no kind of. Um, Pluses or minuses against us. Uh, hopefully, we can beat before that army gets here. They'll have a river crossing, I believe. Okay, I'm still delaying. Leading. So, what do I have? Do I have a river or anything? Okay, so we shall wait here and hopefully this army uh, yeah, gets a negative, so we should be able to beat them. So, we do have a, a good Stuart uh, Marshal. I can get them all mixed up. Uh, he's trying to collect taxes and keeps getting uh, thingied the tax so we'll just put him on research just because I don't want him to die because I don't really have a decent steward after that ok so we have uh, some prisoners uh, let's just see if we can sell them off that would be good if we can no yes ok so we'll come just and beat their armies We're already at 70% which is great news Okay, so he's, he's bought, paid the ransom. We won again. We'll match back into Holland. We beat these two. Victory. Uh, let's just see this guy. He's independent. We'll, we'll try and fabricate a claim on his. Um, his land because it would be easy to probably to get because this one's part of a duchy um, his duke is currently in prison ok so we beat both of their armies we're on 88% uh, hopefully if we siege we should uh, then get 100% and be able to press our uh, terms oh, we don't have enough to siege so that's annoying do there is any more? 3 more, I don't think that's going to be enough no Hopefully we can just get a ticking war score then and win. How much? Is, so we're still making money. Our expenses aren't too high. Is this the, that's trade. 
which I don't have, that's the Republic uh, DLC. Okay, so we've got that, still not enough to siege. Um, do we get a ticking wall score? Let's see if we can sell this guy yet. No. Um, maybe if we come off. He'll raise. I see this guy's raised some troops down here now. Who's he? Okay, he, he's French, I think, so I don't need to worry about him. Okay, so my court chaplain. That's my current one, it must be. <laughs> 25? Yes, he's definitely my court chaplain. Okay, so he must be at war. He is indeed. And we shall put him in Rome and try and get him to sweet talk the Pope for us so that the Pope likes us. Okay, so that's another one, so we've got it to 90% now. Maybe if we beat these last troops, it might be enough to become a war, maybe. Off terms, off peace, no. Okay, we'll just come off for now then. Maybe we'll raise some more. I know we might, we don't get to King Oscar because we haven't held any of, we don't hold any of his uh, land. Kevin is afraid of that, ridicule him, that should do, so Slothful would be good, yes that's fine with me, and we can't raise any more men, I don't really want to fork up for um, for what are they called, what are they called, <laughs> mercenaries, because it'll cost me me a big chunk just to win this little thing. I'd rather hopefully get my marshal uh, to train troops, which he's doing. So if he if he does do that, oh look, class, okay, trusting, humble. That's good. So our king has now become uh, it looks like the king of Italy as well. Uh, so look. Yeah, so King of Lufangia, King of Italy, and King of Burgundy. Wow, so he's become really powerful. Um, and his heir is the King of Bavaria. So, if he dies, all of this will become part of our kingdom. And it wouldn't surprise me if his... Oh, no, it's not. What about this guy? No, he has his own heir. Okay, so they've got some good decent amount of troops over here. I don't have a character in here. I don't want myself. Okay, we're losing a little bit because we crossed the river or the, the ocean. Okay, and we're actually we're losing Moscow because we haven't seized. Well, we came back there, so hopefully this last battle should be enough to win. 165. Ooh, they might win it beaters here. Hopefully because they've got a, a low morale we should be able to hold out. I know it's gone up now so they must have just been... Ah oh yeah we won. Okay so it hasn't added anything to our war score annoyingly. Uh, but no. Uh, let's have a look at even with those 98 men, I don't think I could uh, do it. I think we're going to have to fork up 95 for legionaries. Not legionaries, mercenaries. Just to siege it so we can win. And I'll lower my troops just so it's not costing me that extra bit just to keep those 200 men there. And we can just rust the, the siege with these guys as well. Which is fine. If they ever get there, what should do? Okay, so let's get speed. Uh, 
to come to fruition. Oh good, so how much score goes for 25? Should be fine. Just speed it up so we win this siege. Why fighting those guys? That must be a different war, I think. Let's hurry up and win it. Otherwise I might run out of money. Yeah. Okay, 100%. So we can enforce for peace, enforce demands. Okay, so we've got three of our three. We can s stand them down. And we maybe, oh, maybe should have kept them and rushed these guys with the mercenaries. Okay, so we've done quite well in this um, start of the episode. We've gone from being a one county duke to being a a free county duke. We've now got Gallery, which we started off with Clove and Holland. Uh, that's just our vassals. So we shall. We've got a title on here. And what is the Duchess of Gallery? That's a current one. Who owns it? Ah, oh, the king. So I wonder. I bet I can ask him to give me a. So I need to get my his opinion up to 25 by the looks of it. And his opinion of me is minus one. Foreigner. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help that? Can't send him a gift. It's too expensive. Can we arrange a marriage with someone? One of his family members. Spymaster. Still won't marry me, okay? Maybe we can get one of our sons to marry one of his family members. Let's have a look, actually. Uh, true level. I have a daughter. Do you have a Carlin male? I don't think he'll go for it. Yeah, I just don't think he wants uh, prestige effects and base reluctance. I don't know if that's because I have Kinslayer, maybe. Minus three to diplomacy, even though my diplomacy is pretty high. Peddlers selling all sorts of food, clothing, exotic spices, and luxuries such as glass and jewels fill the town square with their wares and shouts. There are a couple of things I need. Lose 10 gold, spending money until giving the following effect. I don't like the merchants, but their wares are fine because it's prestige. It's shy, we don't want to lose diplomacy. Gives kind. What does that give us? Diplomacy. Uh, we don't want stress, sir. Ah, oh, we got stressed. Bloody hell. Um, okay, so what's that income? to say. The main too big. Oh, so I must have lost. Can I cancel ambition? Put our ambition back up to uh, stewardship. Hopefully we can get that quickly and then we'll have the main will be fine. I don't know who that is. See this is what can be quite scary. Like I on if we look here, the duchy, the dessert is... Oh no, it's these one, that's not too bad then. I thought the dessert was, th was this one, these two. Oh no, because I own those two, what am I talking about? But basically the duke is this guy, is the king. So he can basically declare war on me because he has a right to that county, even though you know I've started with that county. Okay, so let's try and... Just fast forward and get our stewardship back up. If we can, and get some money back up. Who does this guy have? He mustn't he doesn't have any allies. Are there raiders? King Louis for Italy. A 
so if we oh good uh, why is pregnant if we get once we get up to 100 we'll go to war with this guy again how much money does he have yeah, he's got 159 he's got quite a lot actually so I don't know if Iron Man mode actually makes the game any harder or whether it um, just makes it so that you can't save it uh, because for a one county count that seems quite a lot of money to have uh, 159 and I'm like free county count at the minute and I am struggling to get um, to 100 uh, okay so someone can get someone to educate a child that has to be so we want someone like this guy he'll do because he gets us a plus 20 relationship bonus and just how long does there is a way to get rid of stress but I can't remember what it is it's by having someone with a trait in your court hmm who is it it's what's the trait it might be patient maybe uh, but yeah basically outbalance stress and this If I can get legalism up, it means I get, uh, what is it, up two domain size for counts, so that would be good. Okay, so we're nearly at 100. A Vitman, uh, what should we call him? Uh, we should call him after one of my favourite YouTubers who plays a lot of Crusader Kings 2 called Quill18, we'll just call him Quill <coughs> okay, so now I've got to change the firm and how does my army look ah, it's not quite rebuilt yet my vassals barely give me anything I think they mostly like me. Yeah. It's these church ones that are a bit of a pain. I could do with them liking me more. Because they're like... I think to get the church to give you money... Um, you have to... Get someone who likes you more than the church. Uh, I don't know how... do that. I can't tell what his opinion is of me. Well, his opinion of me is 8, but I can't tell what it is of the church. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so we're on 102. I might just let it roll. I'm just hoping my um, thingy will come up uh, to get my stewardship up. Stewardship up. Another, just one more. A weak claim. Duke Conrad claim Where's this? He's a duke, I don't think I'd be able to know. To take him on. Thanks for offering that. Um, I need to move my chancellor as well. Uh, so let's just see. So is there any he's a duke. He's on his own, so we might be able to take him off, get a claim on there. And we shall, I think, where is he? Oh, he's above me. 413. Is he above me? Oh, no, I'm up here now. 666, if my arm is full, which it isn't. I could do about getting fuller. Okay, reckon he's searching. Okay, cut bearer, that's good, I suppose. Maybe that means he likes me more. Nope. That's a good sign, but he's not going to turn on me. Ah, that's probably why my thing isn't full because 
I imagine some of my troops will be at war down there, maybe. I don't know. Is there any way he's losing money? Nope. And how old is my guy getting? 42, so we need to press it before he dies. I don't think that's going up anymore. Okay, we're on 120, so we will go to war. Hopefully we win. Declare war, claim Zealand. And raise our troops. Let me go up here. It's 10 hour. See, we just have more troops than he does, but I'm a little bit worried that if he gets um, if he gets mercenaries, okay, we're going to get a penalty for crossing. We do. It looks like we're going to win. I forgot to put troops, but that's fine. Come on. Okay. I don't know what that said. It's probably Roth, I think, if it was a charged one. Okay, so we won that fight. Uh, where's he going? Must we go to Holland? Okay, hang on. Let's change this. Um, I don't want to be in the fight because I don't want to die. Okay, we get another penalty. Victory. We've got enough to seize there, we'll soon find out. Be very good if we did. Be a lot of oh, we don't. 401. So, do we have 20 men anywhere? No. Ugh, this is annoying. So, I thought levy should be 700 as well. This war's ended. So, it might be that. Maybe get some troops. We have a chance at uh, Marshall. Training some troops for us. That would be great if it could. And then we can go over there. They look like they're being, being attacked. Oh, is that by me? Well, they're raising troops anyway, so that'll lower them. Still can't siege. My son Adam Manchiman has a tender and loving soul, trust you and everyone in the castle I fear will get hurt someday, so uh for those who love get loving return, so kind. Uh well we get one to pull on seeing Five Street. Um envious. Uh fine, we'll go for kind. I think that's the best of the bad bunch. I don't know whose other forces he's out and letting the seed. Okay, so the mayor died. So I need to get another one for my son. Um, preferably, yeah, I don't want to mess this up like I did in my other Let's Play where I gave uh, gave him to a someone who is a different religion. So I want to try and keep him German. Uh, they're all Frankish, Dutch, German, Dutch. Uh, we'll go for, for her. She was German. Raising my troops. 45 now. I was inspecting the damage to the highest tower in Gallery when the head of uh, Adilas uh, appeared outside the window, 50 meters above the ground. What should I do with this curious child? Curiosity has never killed one anyone, so she might get him honest, brave, wounded, unnamed. Brave, martial, honest. Nice to teach her a lesson. She gets <laughs> maimed, pretty much. Minus 200, strictly forbidden to climb tower. Seat foot up. Oh, she got wounded. No. I didn't want her to get deceitful because she might plot against me in the future. Oh, shit. Where'd all they come from? What happened? No. What just happened? They've gone to war with someone. Is he still part of? He's still part of there. But they've. Whose army is this? Oh, fucking Holland pricks. 
Um, so I'm going to lose my troops. Great. Uh, maybe we can. You know, well, they're dead. They're dead. Fine. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to leave that one there, guys. Uh, it's quite late here now, anyway, so I might not make the wisest decisions whilst I'm quite tired. Um, yeah, I could have done without this, really. But it might mean. Cause this guy's north. It might mean that I maybe gain Holland, uh, the Duke them, which would be cool because I think I get an achievement for that as well. Uh, but we'll get on with that in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you leave my video a like because it uh, really helps. You know, I'm just starting out in in YouTube, but every like helps me. Um, and if you have any tips for me, like I'm definitely still learning at this game. I. Uh, uh, I'd love to hear from you and if you want to see more of my Crusader Kings 2 let's plays um, I do this one and I also have a uh, a old gods series going at the minute uh, where I'm currently playing as Jorvik um, and I'm tearing up the British Isles uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see that so thanks a lot guys and we'll see you in the next episode